The check valve keeps air from leaking from the tank back to the pump. It is screwed into the air tank on one side and has the exhaust tube attached to the other. It also has a connection that leads to the unloader valve so the air pressure can be bled from the exhaust tube when the compressor is turned off. The most common problem with the check valve is it becoming stuck open due to corrosion. This allows tank pressure back into the pump. When the compressor turns back on, the motor can't overcome the pressure in the pump and it will stall or trip the breaker. Replacing the check valve is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm gonna show you how. Before performing any repairs to your air compressor, unplug it from its power source and drain the air out of the air tank. I'll begin by removing the nut that secures the exhaust tube to the check valve. Now I can pull the exhaust tube from the check valve. Now I'll remove the nut that secures the exhaust tube to the cylinder. With the nut removed, I can pull the exhaust tube from the cylinder and then from the check valve. Now I'll remove the fitting that attaches the unloader tube to the check valve. and I'll remove the fitting from the hose. To do that, I hold this collar forward as I pull the hose out. And now I can unscrew the check valve from the tank. The new check valve comes with thread sealant already on it, so I can go ahead and just thread it into the tank. As the check valve begins to get tight, I'll rotate it around until the opening for the unloader tube is in line with the tube. Now I'll install the new unloader valve fitting that came with the check valve kit. It just presses into place and I can screw this back onto the check valve. I'll reinstall the exhaust tube by first sliding the bottom end into the check valve and then the top end into the cylinder. And I'll secure each fitting with the nut. <laughs> 